Hello everyone, this is Mr. Derek Gillespie welcoming you to this Geography and Social Studies online classroom. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be specifically dealing with the Geography Syllabus for Form 3. In fact, it would be important to recognize that the geography course studied for CSEC, it's actually a three-year course if studied properly. A three-year course which starts in third form as a kind of introduction to CXC type geography what is otherwise called a CSEC and this course continues through to fourth form for those who choose to specialize in this study and it ends in fifth form where the external exam CSEC exam is done at the end of fifth form now obviously if it's a three-year course then you would expect that third form geography would be kind of an introduction to specializing in geography and so on screen you are seeing a major textbook that is presently used by students in Jamaica uh, and I'm using it to guide you through the basic steps in the study of geography and what the syllabus is like Feel free to pause the screen wherever you wish so that you can zero in on what most interests you. But let me start off with a quick overview as to what the syllabus is like. Obviously, when you're starting in third form, as you can see, the first aspect of the CSEC syllabus is to focus on as you can see there on the screen, chapter one of this text makes it plain. The basic features about the earth. And so the structure of the earth's crust or lithosphere, study of plate tectonics and rock formation. And as you can see the layout of this theme of study, which all geography students will have to pursue in third form. In fact, this syllabus, being introduced to you um, is being presented in the second term of the school year 2020 to 2021 and by this time this area of study should be well underway so as you can see theory of plate tectonics types of plate boundary uh, case study into the Caribbean plate and adjacent plate boundaries nearby Formation and distribution of earthquakes, volcanoes, fold mountains, intrusive or underground volcanic features, extrusive volcanic features, and of course, it is helpful to do a case study of places like St. Lucia, St. Vincent, Montserrat as it concerns volcanicity in the Caribbean. And of course, just scrolling through the rest of the syllabus that will be pursued through to fifth form you can see the various topics weathering and mass movement fluvial processes that relate to the hydrological cycle river systems um, then of course coastal processes wave action features formed by the sea at the coast study of coral reefs uh, limestone rocks and areas which are dominated by limestone and the features formed and of course weather and the climate is a must and this normally can be pursued either in third or fourth form and then as you go through fourth and fifth form you see the rest of the syllabus ecosystems um, population study urbanization economic activity as it relates to industries 
and of course how can you study geography without studying agriculture the agricultural systems then natural hazards hurricanes volcanoes landslides etc environmental degradation and how our environment is being impacted by human activity um deforestation global warming erosion all of that and of course as you can see let me zero in on it in upper school fourth and fifth form there is what is called a school-based assessment component of the geography syllabus and so that's a general overview of what the geography syllabus looks like there's more detail to it but this gives you a, a nice picture of what it looks like and of course for third formers let me zero in again on what is a must for third form basics about the earth and of course these are things that you would study and should be studying at the moment as we speak and of course a good geography teacher will introduce you to the practical component of the subject and so you can expect some amount of um, introduction to maps and everything practical as it relates to geography so you're talking about the, the studying of the lines on the globe you're looking at compass direction you're looking at of course statistics pie diagrams and graphs and uh, statistical maps etc etc as you can see there is a breakdown in a table format you can pause the screen and take a closer look at it as it relates remember i'm using a, a specialized textbook for c6 students to introduce the syllabus to you and so third form students who might be interested in geography and you are now being introduced to it let me hope that you will find this general overview of the syllabus interesting and helpful to give an idea as to what you will be studying from third form through to fifth form success to you as you study the subject